guys, Coral Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Star Wars Rebels. Last time on. We have a new Phoenix leader. Indeed. Ooh, and a new prototype ship. Mm. Indeed. Indeed. I give it a B. A B win. Oh, yes. Because uh, it's a prototype and it's got a bunch of electrical faults. It's always buzzing. Sure. What kind of ship is that, Eric? Uh, it is a Star Tour ship. <laughs> uh, fighter parts in the market. The crates are labeled Ronto meat. Good luck. You said you had another mission. What do you want me to do? Actually, this one's for her. <clears throat> Ow! Hey! <laughs> There's a courier coming in who has secret information. I need you to pick him up and transport him to Havoc Outpost. Don't worry, you can trust me. What's this courier look like? I don't know. But they'll respond to this code phrase. Got it. What's the code phrase? Hey, hey I can be low got profile any grapes? too. You can be backup, along with Chopper. But she is in charge. Understood. Uh, you spend a lot of time in your room, alone, and uh, you actually tend to eat alone sometimes, and combat practice alone, and go off probably to be alone. I've heard you say more than once. I want to be alone. But actually, I, I've heard you say quite often, just straight leave. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude! Hmm. Okay, uh, what is that? Nothing. What's that? I think it's this guy. Hey. It's a long way to Alderaan. Okay. <laughs> it's a long way to Alderaan. She just hold up it's a sign a like they're picking someone up from the Alderaan. airport. Right. <laughs> like how he's asking the same guy. It's a long way to Alderaan. Hangar 22 is now closed. Is it the pilot? Are you sure you were saying the code phrase right? Yes. Yes. It's a long way to Alderaan. Whoa. Say, he's on a gunk. He's on a gunk. <laughs> this thing? Wait a minute. That is the courier. You didn't hear them the hundred times they said it? <laughs> <laughs> because I would. Ketsu Onyo. I knew I recognized that tag. Ketsu Onyo. I, Onyo! That's what I she saw was your doing. mark, old friend. Uh, you two know each other. Still a bounty hunter, I see. Tell me you don't miss it. Wait, 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 wait. You were a bounty hunter? That explains a lot. I'm just here for the droid. <laughs> Not you, Chop. <laughs> hey, Chop, you're keeping me alive! <laughs> so, Sabine, how do you know her? She never told you how we broke out of the Imperial Academy? That was a long time ago, before you got greedy and left me for dead. I work for the Black Sun now, and I have another job to finish first. I can't let you do that. How about we all relax before you there? That happens. Don't interrupt us. Oh boy. Nice shot. Haven't lost your touch. Good thing you haven't either. Stay here. Ah, there's more. Okay, change your plans, Chop. Get Boxy here onto that shuttle. The, the stairs. stairs. He has legs. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of elevation or knees. <laughs> it's like a he can hide. Go. I see that bullshit. We mean he up. It's a robot. It's too steep. No, no, Calvin. it's too steep an incline. He's a hopping. Sorry, but there are no more flights scheduled for this evening. <laughs> if you contact. Yeah, I don't have time to book a ticket. Chopper, shut him down and take over. Bet you're glad you brought back up. Yeah, it's working out great. Exactly as planned. Now hang on. Bye. Hera, the mission's gotten complicated. <laughs> I thought you were keeping a low profile. Yeah, well, it just went high profile. Hello, boys. I'm afraid this has all been a terrible misunderstanding. One that you're gonna answer for. Now drop your weapons. Don't do it. Do what? This? Do it! What the? Call it! Oh. Yeah, Sergeant! <laughs> Dropped 
him like a potato. Yeah. You drop potatoes, Kevin? Is that like a thing you do? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh! No! no. <laughs> the Empire's Jewels! <laughs> What's that alarm? Oh no. I really like the wraparound cockpit she's got. Look, you're gonna tour her, you gotta be able to see everything. She knocked out our hyperdrive, which means I bet I know her next move. Lock yourself down. Gravity generator. You should have bumped it up. Lock yourself. Okay. Uh. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Chopper, he's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. This should automatically happen. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thing those ramps were compatible, right? Well, well, while well, I've changed, it seems you haven't changed at all. Chopper's more than a droid, he's a rebel and a friend. <laughs> oh, Sabine. We were once friends. Tell you what, give me the power droid, and I'll share my cut with you, like the old days. I don't do things just for money anymore. You really think your little rebel group can overthrow the Empire? Grow up, little sister. You can't be that foolish. Once we were like sisters, but we only cared about ourselves. It's called survival. You of all people should know you can't trust anyone. I met people who gave me a second chance in life, and that's what I'm giving you. Imperial cruiser to ground shuttle 637 your craft has been identified as stolen. Only friends I've ever needed. Until yeah. today, I'll plant them on the shuttle to give the reactor an extra kick. That's the Sabine I remember. Now you get sentimental. Just get the Shadowcaster ready to fly. Hey, Captain, wake up! <laughs> Take no for an answer! Your ship is under attack. You need to exercise emergency protocol. Under attack? See that Imperial cruiser out there? It's getting ready to destroy your shuttle for being stolen. Destroy my ship? Time to go. Detecting a reactor malfunction. How did that happen? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. The 
gonna blow up. This shuttle captain is bold but foolish. Activate tractor beam. Take hold of that ship. Yes. Are those explosives? No one gives a shit about droids. No, they don't. <laughs> Least of all chopper. <laughs> I'm the rebel in charge. You can report to Senator Organa that his intel has arrived. Safe and sound. <laughs> Their mating dance. Oh, okay. R2, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Man, Man, what a <laughs> scene that we're missing. Isn't it? <laughs> Fuck. R2 like opens up his like little like this little yeah. thing where he was grab shit. Right? And, and like a real buff <laughs> arm comes out. <laughs> like how many droids have you killed since last time we spoke? <laughs> Look, if you think you'd want to help us out, make a difference, just let us know. I'll think about it. Oh no. He has a target on the back of all right. Uh, can't remember what the name of this one was. Damn. Blood Sisters. Blood Sisters. All right. What'd you guys think? I liked it. Yeah. It's cool getting more of uh... Sabine's backstory. Yeah. I had it when I started that sentence, and then it went. <laughs> <laughs> more of Sabine's backstory. Back. Like they once did. Yeah. Yeah, so they both broke out of the Imperial Academy together. Mm -hmm. Their dream was to join the Black Sun. She's a bounty hunter now, and yeah. Sabine is with the Rebellion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Black Sun, like they talk about here, like, oh, maybe you can join the cause. And they're like, well, fighting the Empire is not my thing, but also... You don't want to go against, you don't Black, want to go against Black Sun either, you know? <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. want two enemies. No. They're one of the scale. five syndicates. Very true. Steve Bloom had so much work this episode. Yeah. Did yeah. He, he was the gonk droid, which is so fun. <laughs> of course he's gonk. the gonk droid. Gonk. Gonk. Yeah. Gonk. 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 I kind of forgot who the courier was when I was watching this, and then I saw Ezra, I'm like, pretty sure he's sitting on a GNK Series 6 gonk droid. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, the gonk droid is the courier. Mm -hmm. It's a long way to order on. It's a long way to Alderaan. I love the one time when Sabine's like, it's a long way to Alderaan, and that girl's like, and walks away from her, and then it's just like, it's, it's a, a long, long way to Alderaan. Alderaan. Like, I Jesus. also love how he says it the exact same way every yeah. time. It's, it's a, a long way to Alderaan. Alderaan. <laughs> it's a long way to Alderaan. Yeah, no. Um, there's some other shit that I just really like. I don't know, it's like this, like, UFO kind of look, but mixed with, like, a Y-Wings, like... You know, like the engines on the sides and stuff. It's just the shadow, the shadow caster. Yeah. It, just, it has a neat design. It just feels, no, it feels different. It, you know? it is really cool. I mean, it's one of those ships that's like, uh, it, it's a very unique design. Like, it's made just for this. And in fact, I think it's one of those things where it's like, man, this ship was so cool. And then we're doing Rise of Skywalker. We need like 14,000 ships behind us. I think that's one of the ships in there just because of how cool it looks, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know if it's necessarily meant to be the shadow caster, you know, just or a, just a, a model of that. Of that. Series. But uh, yeah, I th I'm pretty sure that's like fully modeled for the movie at one point. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Now I was I was fooled actually because Stephen Stanton is doing the uh, voice of the pilot droid uh, when I think Paul Rubin did him originally in Galaxy's Edge, but he's doing an impression. And Stephen Stanton, I mean, I can't be too mad, is a master impressionist, so. I mean, he does everything from Tarkin to Morello Evel. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got fooled, but no, it wasn't Paul Rubin. Obviously, I love when, you know, a Lando or someone comes back, but it's good, too, to establish new characters. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I think yeah. Ketsu seems like a pretty cool one that I would yeah. like to know more about and see more. Yeah. Ketsu Ono. And Calvin, you recognized who it was? Yeah, Gina Torres. Yeah, uh, Zoe, mm -hmm. right, from Zoe. Uh, Firefly. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, I think I hear it now. Yeah, That's why you mentioned about Firefly. Yeah. Yeah. With the overalls. So, I, I figured when yeah. you said Firefly, I'm like, okay, he recognizes. Or, yeah. uh, is, it, is Zoe the right one, right? Yeah, yeah. Zoe's Zoe. the right one, yeah. Zoe's yeah. the younger one, right? The It's it's Wash's wife. Girlfriend it's, wife. It's the second in command. That one. Yeah. Not the K oh, not, Ka not okay, Kaylee. Not the girl. Not Kaylee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Because when you said the younger one, whatever, I was thinking like, no, I thought you meant, did I okay. say the wrong name then? No, but, I'm, I don't remember the names, honestly, at this yeah. point. Ah, yeah. I feel like it's two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you rewatch it every year. <laughs> so, yeah, no, so like we get her brought in here. For, yeah. Because mm-hmm. it was funny because I was uh, in the opening when they were in the landing dock there. I was going to make a reference to uh, Janestown mm-hmm. with the mutters and Jane running into his old uh, partner. His old, yeah, Squad. crime partner guy yeah. that he left behind for money. Because it. it Kind of was following those same tracks, yeah. Sure. But um, it's just cool that we had Gina Torres in here too. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to know that story, like what happened between the two. Mm-hmm. Of them. Yeah, the left, the, the left for dead happened. thing, right? There's, yeah. There's that being mentioned. It's like, well, what did she do that she left her for dead? Yeah, was she like trying to actually keep her from getting involved too deep with the Black Sun? Was it like her way of giving her an out? Or oh, no. was it actually about but the money? She also gets a chance here where she could have left her for dead, right? Yeah. Well, I kind of thought that, but then I thought, well, Chopper's got to close the thing, right? Like, can she do that? Like, isn't Chopper the one deciding whether or not they leave in that situation? Yeah. In that scenario? Because she was like, close the, the hatch or we're all going to die. Yeah, and, and Chopper if he was didn't like, do that. No. And he was like, okay, I'll go get her. So like, she should have she some said to way him, like, well, that, right? I hope you're happy. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. So I felt like she might have done it anyway, yeah. but I also felt like maybe she didn't have 100% of a choice. I mean, she could have maybe forced it. I mean, it's her ship. She didn't have a joy to begin with. She opened it to begin with. Like She probably just could have jumped over top of Chopper and hit the red button. Maybe she could have shoved she him really out or something, to. but right. maybe it wouldn't have been a super easy thing to do because she'd have to deal with Chopper a little bit, but you just you don't want to deal with him. One of my favorite scenes in the entire Brady series will set you on fire. is like her talking to her on the hologram. You just see me in the back. I'm being like, I love it. I love how he like <laughs> love rips so- something out and shows it to her and then throws it. <laughs> <laughs> the timing's so good. It yeah. is. I-, I love the ripping out because if it was a little faster, it reminded me a lot of the Ruby animation. Uh huh. Where like sure. super fast would happen and mm-hmm. then like everything would stop. Yeah. Yeah. It just had that same comedic timing. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. He might be my one of my favorite droids of all time. I and mean, we had R2 here at the end, too, and it's great to see yeah. R2, but Chopper just, like, just the way he can mock you. <laughs> like, he comes under, you know, looks at her like, oh, 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 <laughs> you know, and he has this stuff. It's just things he does are so different because of his design, too. Like, yeah. he has a giant rocket on the bottom. It's of just a rocket out, thruster, know? yeah. It's just a giant thruster. And then, like, like, he probably burns all of his, like, gas, you yeah. know, way like, too much. <laughs> but he'll give her to that and bring out that giant one wheel and then just roll on one wheel just shooting and at shoot everybody. Fucking you know? out of like, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's funny the things that they do with him. Well, yeah, because like, his first thing was in animation and they have so much more freedom of what he c- can do versus what R2 mm-hmm. could do back in the original movies. Sure, yeah. yeah. You know? They had to lay out like plywood on top of sand and then layer it with a very thin layer of sand to make it look like the surrounding and like shoot so mm-hmm. a dune would cover up his wheels so that mm-hmm. he could be on pavement. I ha- so much restrictions. I absolutely need someone to do some type of fan edit where like they go up to each other and then you just cut out rotoscope from Predator, those two buff arms going, you know, but it's coming out of their little like, just things. That'd <laughs> be so great. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Sometimes, Rick, you make the shows worse. By mentioning oh. stuff like that, and now it's I not in it. wishing that it was in there. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this show, like the reaction. No! <laughs> I do like, as far as the episode goes, like, I like the the alone conversations they have, right? Mm-hmm. Like, there's the Ezra talking about Sabine. Well, like, oh, I thought you wanted to well, be Well, the conversation, it was him talking. And sure. And saying nothing. But, but yes. like, through the episode, though, like, that, it starts off with that. It's like, oh, man, a leader, huh? And, like, Ezra's just mm-hmm. going on and on and being Ezra. But, uh... Then, like, by the end of it, when you get to it, and, like, with their history and stuff, too, and even uh, uh, Ketsu says, like, it must be nice having someone to watch your back a little bit, yeah. you know? Like, I used to have someone like that with you, you know, pushing that she mm-hmm. is now alone, whereas Sabine really S- isn't. Sabine really is. Even though that she keeps to herself on the ship, mm-hmm. she does have that family, and, you know, Chopper is, he's a rebel, he's a hero, you know? Yeah. Just like me. They don't so. leave each other behind. Yeah. Despite her leaving... Both of them behind at one point. At one point, yes. But well, Sabine still does have some trust issues. She does. Like, there was that one episode with um, Sandula mm-hmm. where, like, she couldn't tell her everything and she wasn't happy blindly following orders. Sure. Yeah. yeah. 
So I like touching on this. I like the idea too. Was like, is it the last time we'll see of her? She's like, no, and I'm glad. You know, so like, it leaves open for like some more future. more history that we can yeah. learn about her. Maybe or you know, having this Ketsu person kind of show back up or do something. Yeah, and like, what's that tag about? Like, what sure. does that mean? Yeah. And there's lots of like, there's lots of these characters that like we don't necessarily know all their history. We get little bits here and there, and like where they've been. So it's fun to see like where have they been that we don't know yet, and how does that make them who they are? Yeah, I feel like we've gotten the most from Ezra and mm. Kanan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. We had a little bit more with Hera last episode with the sure, but not necessarily like background, just who she is. And we've had a little know. bit with um, uh, Zeb. Zeb yeah. because of like the Honor sure. Earth. Yeah, we had a uh, Callus uh, who, you know, there was that story beat with killing the Lasats and yeah, the that, weapons. The and, one, what, the disruptors. Yeah, disruptor. him being like, I think he said that he was like an honor guard and, you know, that kind of stuff or a royal guard or whatever it was. So there's been a little bit with him and stuff sure. too. So it's just nice getting little bits as we go through where mm -hmm. it's like, well, this one isn't necessarily about like what's happening right now. It is, but we're going to dive a little bit into some history with the character, which is fun. Yeah. Even if there's no Lando or Hondo or anything you know Other so Dave your, Filoni uh, did the Rodian mm -hmm. that that Ezra first walked up to okay yeah, challenge for his, <laughs> yeah and he also did the stormtrooper that was screaming for his balls probably that might have been him <laughs> that was a great moment too <laughs> the <laughs> no, no! I, wish, I wish he wasn't wearing a helmet so you could have like the fear on his face yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny I love that also, just like the more they give personality to and make me appreciate droids, the worse it is when they just kill droids. Yeah. Like without even a thought, you know? Yeah. And like that pallet like, droid is like just trying to do his fucking job. <laughs> you stole his ship. Well, and now and he's then dead. you tricked him into. Like L337 was right. Cruiser. Eric, could you imagine if like. Like, you're a heavy sleeper usually, right? Yeah. Could you imagine if, like, you went to bed one, one night, uh -huh. and then, like, me, Calvin Rick just took you, we tossed you into a truck, you just woke up, you're like, where am I? You're just heading towards a cliff, and there's bombs all I around know. you. You're like, what am I doing? I know! Ah. And then you guys fuck off, and the <laughs> fanfare plays for you, <laughs> and it's, it's like, da 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 and for me, it's not, like, sad music? What the yeah. hell? You, you just know? blow up, and you're dead. It's not bullshit. Cliff, though, he's heading towards, like, a school bus, or, like, something with people in it, that he is going to explode. He's heading towards a, like a military like, like a police car yeah. you know like, fucking yeah. in, in Solo A Star Wars Story there's the L337 character that talks about droids rights and how yeah. they're treated and how they're under subjugation and half of the Star Wars fandom like this is stupid who cares she's right <laughs> you know Yeah. she's so fucking right down with subjugation <laughs> but is that line though of like well what makes them like are they tools are they people are they you know cause they're robots and droids and AI and I tell you what, what makes we weird? would all be sad if, if if Chopper was destroyed. We would all be sad. We're, we're, all, we're all sad when R2 is blown apart. And c 3 is like, oh, R2, why'd you have to be so brave? You See, know? I kind of want Chopper to be damaged and then be made into this giant Warhammer 40k man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in season one of The Mandalorian, there's that like one R2 unit that has like legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember uh, BB-8 in Last Jedi? Yeah. When like all of a sudden there's like an AT... Uh, ATST just mm -hmm. like doo -doo 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 -doo! <laughs> and then a pop blows off and just BB-8 like <laughs> exactly <laughs> like, it's like can they do that they're droids no man they can they kill people like, yeah battle droids have, were made for that there's no um, um, Asimov rules of robotics yeah. in this universe I, don't, I guess not so uh, and then, well, yeah but then you get like I mean remember that KOTOR droid where it was like, <laughs> it's like please no kill me yeah <laughs> It, it gets. It, it can be really dark. What? It, there's a quest line in Kotor where like there's this woman who's like, "Please, I've lost my droid. Can you help me find my droid?" Uh -huh. And as you go through the story that you learn is that this woman, her husband, passed away years uh -huh. ago, and the last thing she has left of her husband is this droid. And like you get a very like, her needs have to be met by this droid, and this droid's trying to run away and get away from her. Yep. And you bring it back. She's like, like "No, no." <laughs> It's like, we'll go back and get those attachments. You know, like, this. Uh -huh. it's, like, it's just like this weird feeling of all It's real weird. <laughs> I forget exactly the lines that they all have and everything. But it's been a while. Literally. Game of the year, 2000. But it's definitely the feel Eight. they're going for is like, man, she's fucking this Four? droid. 2003? <laughs> like, 2003? Can't be. This droid would rather yeah. be dead. Xbox? It was on Xbox? Yeah, yeah I think it was 2003. Oh, what a great fucking game. It was a good game. Jeez. Was that Dad to win? It was on Dantooine. It was like the detective yeah. story part, right? Yeah. Yeah. Calvin, you need to play KOTOR. 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 Ha-ha! 
Ah, now there's so right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this and our dive into Star Wars and lore and talk, make sure you subscribe because we do it for all the Star Wars stuff, yep. including Bad Batch coming around the corner. <gasps> also, more uh, Rebels, four episodes available right now over on patreon.com slash Robot's dead.